In Finland, the Christmas break can last up to January 6th for some people because the kids are out of school until then. So I was happy to have a, a little bit more predictable work schedule, which meant, of course, some gaming for me. I have been enjoying the Red Dead Redemption 2 so much again, even on a second playthrough. Even if I'm making all the same choices apparently and playing with the high honor. And again, I'm trying to avoid all the Mica missions. I mean, who isn't who is playing this game? My first playthrough started in December 2018, but even if I love this game, it has taken me such a long time to get back to it. First of all, it took me ages to finish the game in the first place. I just didn't want it to end. The world itself is really cold and the sceneries are beautiful and just all that ambience. I don't know why, but this western type of Americana type of flair has always been very pleasing to me visually and otherwise as well. I think it's odd because as a Finn I'm so far removed from that, but still it's very, very attractive. And uh, as a gamer I'm sort of a detail-oriented person, so I'm looting and finding secrets or NPC missions and um, it's just something I can do in this open world game a lot. There's so much to do and so much to see, or then you can just enjoy the scenery and ride on your horse. But there is a hard thing, and it's with the characters. I mean, the main guy, Arthur, the whole storyline and where it goes with him. I will stay spoiler free if you ever want to play this game, which I recommend. And I don't want to spoil it for you because I want you to experience it, but it will get to you. Trust me, it will. We were actually talking about this the other night and um, I know I'm sort of a more of a casual gamer girl but I do love a good character building and storytelling in games too and I would say there aren't many like Arthur or Morgan as a character or even the other gang members in the Red Dead Redemption 2. You really get to know them and you start to feel for them. It matters what happens to them. And I would say that's quite rare. I could only mention games such as The Last of Us Part 1 and 2 that can achieve similar feels towards characters, but more often than not, game characters are more 2D and there really has been games that I just couldn't bother to continue because the character itself was annoying. Anyway, it's been a ride back then and it has already been that now, and I already know it will hurt to play this further again, but I'm still enjoying it so much. My gameplay can be doing story missions, or I will just ride around and pick herbs, or talk to strangers, or do some random missions. I know gaming isn't for everyone, and uh, people ask me often, why do you play? But I would say for me, it's a way to relax, it's a way to regroup, it's enjoying stories and it's me time. Some people go to yoga, I prefer to go to Wild Wild West. The weather has been more optimal for gaming than outdoor half marathon training because it's been like minus 16 to minus 20 Celsius, which is close to zero Fahrenheit, if I'm correct. I'm not great with the conversion. Um, but yeah, I had to adjust my training a little bit and plan smartly and have some good layering going. But I had good company and we got a great long run in on Saturday and the weather was beautiful. The sun was shining and if you don't mind all the frost and the spiked shoes getting my legs all tired, it was so nice to be out there and I could have gone over 17k I think. But this is where I'm smart now. I have learned from my mistakes. I'm not adding too much volume too soon in my training cycle. Not anymore. Now I'm a smart runner.
talking about smart runners. We are mindful of the cold temps too. So we are taking our workouts indoors and leaving outdoors for easy running. So I decided to give a chance for a new gym just closer to where I live so it will be more hassle free to go there and get those workouts done. As I work hybrid, it's much more convenient to go to the gym on my remote days than on office days that tend to run longer. So far, very pleased with the cardio section and even got to try out an infrared sauna for the very first time there. Will be fun to test it out more, but first impressions are good.